guys, it's Izzy and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be doing my first video of 2020. I've been, been thinking about... Sounds so weird saying that. So I am going to be sharing with you my goals slash New Year's resolutions for this year, 2020. Now in 2019, <laughs> why can't I count backwards? 2019 was a really good year for me. I accomplished a lot and yeah, uh, I'll go through a few of them real quick. So I finished my GCSEs, I got my GCSE results. I went to in the city, my first YouTube event. I got flown to Paris to film makeup videos. So a lot has happened and probably more than that. Oh yeah, also I did two talks with Wee Day in front of thousands of people. So a lot happened last year. It's probably a little bit of an understatement. I did lots so I've set myself five goals for next year I would have probably done more but I wanted to make sure that it was still really like achievable so I've done five um and then I've written on my computer my computer's here if you're thinking what are you looking at yeah so I've set myself five goals and then underneath each one I have a few ways I'm going to try and reach that goal because I feel like if you just sit, so set yourself a goal it can seem quite unachievable so the fact that I've got the little wait how I'm gonna do that um, is useful. Now the first one makes me sound like such a basic person but it's to keep fit and healthy. Now I am really unfit. I am quite unfit and um, yeah this is something I want to change. I also will always eat the unhealthy option of food over the healthy option um, and I have quite a sweet tooth so this all together means that I'm really unhealthy and I don't do very much exercise either so this is a, a bit of a problem so as a family I think we are starting to eat more healthy this year um, yeah more veg um, <laughs> so yeah that's something I can do quite easily however at school we have like we buy our own food so I'm going to try and be conscious this year to pick the healthier options of food um, over like potatoes beans and cheese that's why I eat every day but even though that's not too unhealthy it's variation as well so switching things up to have different things as well so I'm going to be doing that at school so that's my like eating wise how I'm going to be healthier then I am also going to try and go on a walk like five times a week um I realized that I was finding this really difficult which is something I shouldn't especially on my knee legs and this was basically because of how unfit I've been so I have been doing this one already actually uh, in the last few weeks and yeah um, but yeah, I'm going on a walk, about a 15 minute walk, so not very far, but it's really important to keep your heart rate up, and yeah, so you should have high heart rate for about 20 minutes a day, so doing that walk means that I have my heart rate up, which is just going to basically make me overall healthier, and I do really like doing, well not the doing of exercise, but the after, it makes you feel much better. And then I also want to work on my core strength. Now I've started to notice my posture on my knee legs was so much better at the start. However, since I stopped doing the exercises that they told me to do, I've noticed that it's gone worse again. So I'm going to try and start doing my core exercises to keep my posture nice and straight rather than like bent. So yeah, that is step number one. New Year's resolution number one. This one is to produce more content each week. I wanted to have a YouTube based goal just because I think this is really important to have goals for your own life but also like work life and YouTube's kind of my job. So I am going to set myself the goal of trying to still carry on posting one YouTube video a week but also two Instagram videos. Now Instagram videos I really like doing um, and I am so passionate about makeup that they're something that I really do enjoy so I want to try and do two of them a week. Now in order to do this I will probably have to do work for YouTube or Instagram uh, one night after school um, obviously I still go to well I go to sixth form so I am busy in the days but I think by doing one night after school a week at least um, it'll mean that I can get the time in to film some of the videos so you should have two Instagram videos going up a week um, as well which is good because I like posting Instagram videos so yeah, that is the next one, just to produce more content for my YouTube channel. I think that's just really, oh, and my Instagram, sorry. I think that's, and my other thing with that is I want to spend more time on them. So towards the end of last year, I got to the point where I was genuinely filming a Saturday upload on Saturday and then editing it and uploading it. And obviously then I'm not putting too much effort into it because I'm literally, well, I'm putting loads of time into it because it take, I'm filming, editing and uploading all in one big go. But... 
it's not it doesn't require as much thought process or anything so i want to try and have them already done and then i can spend time on editing it so i can really be producing content that i'm really proud of the like finished outcome rather than me just thinking oh my god that was such a rush like to get together the next one is number three and this is be kind and thoughtful to those around me now i am quite oblivious to other people sometimes and i am quite a like if you're gonna have an argument with me i will argue and i will win <laughs> so i want to try and stop being as like that because i just need to rise above it sometimes like josh tries to annoy me so much and sometimes i just need to breathe and be like rather than just shouting at him or whatever so that's definitely a step i'm gonna do just try and rise above it like i don't need to get involved with certain things and yeah and genuinely just like if you're negative just i'm not participating in this just to try and surround myself with positivity resolution number four we're almost at the end <laughs> so the fourth one is be organized and neat now i mean this in two cents firstly the reason we are filming against my curtain and in my Instagram backdrop is because my room is a mess. My room is always a mess. Now, when I get as many parcels as I do, some days I literally get three in a day, and don't get me wrong, I'm so thankful for that. However, they pile up and it's really hard, especially when I'm at school, to get through filming with all them parcels or even just popping them on my Instagram story. So, I have made myself a goal to try and tidy my room every weekend so i start the new week with a fresh bedroom and then it can get messy in the week and then i can tidy up again and this is going to be just tidy it no matter what the state is whether it's an absolute mess or whether it's basically tidy because i kind of leave a few things out and then eventually it just all of a sudden becomes like a literal like explosion site so yeah that's definitely something that i really want to be able to do and i'm really focusing towards okay the other thing during the organisational sort of thing is if you saw my what I got for Christmas I got a diary um, I've never really used a diary before um, I've never really found the need to but because sixth form is quite a lot more independent study though this might be quite useful to allocate my times so I can put YouTube time in it, Instagram time in it, schoolwork time in it, like chill time in it and just really section my time out as well as organising myself so you just have obviously all the days in here and then you just, you're not going to be able to see it. And then just a little section to write. And I just thought this would be quite good to just organise myself. Okay, and the fifth one is learn as many new things in my legs as possible. Now, if you have like not paid attention to my channel because I seem to mention it all the time, I got new legs over the summer, so I got um, sea legs finally. Um, after many years of me trying to persuade myself, <laughs> so yeah, I got new legs and. Although I love my new legs, there are a lot of things that I am unable to do because I don't practice or do my physio. Basically self-sabotage, right? Yeah. It... But I really, really want to try and learn some of these new things. So I'm going to try and practice as much as possible. Uh, one of them is from standing from a chair. So we've not got a nice, like not a high chair but not a low chair like a good height chair out downstairs now so i can practice sitting and standing and it's just little things like that little adjustments that are going to make me practice more um so yeah that is something really important because i think when i have such expensive and really good quality legs i'm not actually getting the best out of them because i am a bloody idiot <laughs> And I don't do my physio when I'm told to do physio. I just wanted to make it a big solid thing. So these are my goals. Um, don't, oh, don't kill me if I didn't do it. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway guys. I hope you all had a really amazing year last year. And if you didn't. Don't worry. 2020 is the year for a lot. I'm excited about 2020. We'll have to see what happens. But anyway. If you did enjoy this video, then uh, like, comment your resolutions and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye!